Hi everyone, in this video I'm showing you something that I built uh, for my wife. It's a wearable belt buckle. Uh, she is a great fan of blinky LEDs and wearable electronics. And in the past I built stuff like uh, necklaces and earrings and bracelets and rings for her. So when I got my hands on uh, these uh, panels, uh, I quickly designed this uh, little 3D printed case for uh, uh, mounting the panel and inside it are just two things the feather m0 microcontroller and a lipo battery and at the back of the feather m0 on the prototyping area i mounted a little slide switch that lets me turn the device on and off and that, that's all there is to it actually just uh, the uh, four parts the panel the battery the controller and uh, this uh, 3d printed uh, case for it uh, this is my first iteration so there was a bit of a goof up uh, i didn't uh, uh, factor in the size of the lipo correctly and i had to chop off uh, this part of the lip over here to to get the, the lipo to get in but then I modified the design and the new one in the repository has uh, certain changes which hopefully might uh, not have this uh, problem but I haven't tried it out yet. So uh, that's about it. It's a quick update on, uh, on this uh, little wearable project that I made for my wife. Turn it on and it switches on after a while. Here's a look at it on the computer uh, to show you the new version which I haven't yet printed. Uh, this is the case. Uh, there are four mounting posts uh, for the Feather M0. Uh, those. And uh, once you mount the Feather M0, you can use a soldering iron to uh, melt these little uh, points and then that will hold the feather in place without using any fasteners or uh, screws at all. Uh, Fitting in the lipo should be a little bit easier because I reduced the width of the lip and made a cutout over here to, uh, to allow the uh, battery to slide in much easier. Uh, there is no cutout at the back for the switch because I thought it's best to drill that location out finally after you've assembled uh, the, the whole thing. And uh, finally you close it off with the panel and uh, you should be done. So that's. Uh, that's what this whole thing is. And here's another look at it uh, over here. Uh, finally, I just need to put these mounting screws, and uh, that should be it. So, that's a quick update on this uh, little wearable project that I made. Thanks for watching.